everybody, this is Praxis, and I had kind of a thought last night while I was working on the pass-throughs that are all running through the foundation. Uh, I want to make sure I, I know exactly where everything is, so when they start pouring concrete, to, you know, I have a quick answer for wherever they have to put any holes. But as I was working on it, it, it kind of dawned on me, it's been about a month since I heard the news from Hoople's, uh, you know, about what was going on up in Canada, and... I haven't heard any news since, and I guess no news is good news uh, in a lot of ways, but also is like, would we even be told as citizens that, you know, if these people got captured and, you know, and this was no longer, like this specific thing was no longer, you know, a risk or a threat anymore. I mean, you hear stories about like, well, you know, terror plots being foiled, you know, so, you know, such and such agency has foiled X number of terror plots, but they don't ever really talk about the specifics of them, like which one. And it just kind of occurred to me, it's like this whole thing could be over at this point and I would have no idea. But I still want to have the homestead. It's useful for many purposes, uh, you know, and many different disasters, not just pandemic disease. So I'm going forward with it. But I, I, it, again, it just occurred to me last night, like, is this immediate sense of urgency like necessary anymore? Because I'm not hearing any news about anything. But anyway, last night I was working on foundation pastures. Uh, and the foundation pastures are anywhere where you have something coming in and out of the foundation. Like back here in this area here is the utility room. This is a model that I made of the whole foundation just for kind of wrap my mind around it because it's a little bit complicated and also so I could share it with contractors so it's easy for them to you know visualize it and say okay I know exactly what you're talking about. This is a utility room back here. The well water is going to come in here. The septic is going to go out to like the septic system. Uh, from here. Those are kind of normal things, but I have a, a lot of other pass-throughs in this structure. Like right over here, there's a bathroom in this area, and there's going to be a pass-through here for gray water. Bathroom, bathroom, and gray water is going to go out from there out to the greenhouse area. That's another pass-through. Uh, in case there's a lot of gray water in the greenhouse, I'm putting a kind of like a safety uh, pass-through right here, where if I have a lot of water that's flowing through there, I could have an out for it to come out out here, uh, like if it's pooling or whatever, I could eventually kind of like, you know, put some plumbing in some little streams so I could get rid of it. That's just, you know, just in case kind of thing. Uh, I have a wood stove right here in the middle of the structure and I want to get outside air to that. So I need another pass through here. I'm going to be drawing outside air from the greenhouse. Uh, and the reason for that were a couple. Uh, one is that this greenhouse is where we're going to do a lot of the laundry drying. So it'd be good to have fresh dry air in the wintertime being drawn into this area so it doesn't get, you know, uh, humid and, uh, over, you know, well, overly humid. Uh, and also, in terms of getting uh, the outside air to this point in the house, I wasn't sure where else to, uh, to grab it from. If I, if I had the outside air come through this front here, it would come out here and then you'd have to stick it up in front of the house and there's a bunch of nice windows here and you'd have to have like just this pipe sticking up out of the ground. And I was like, well, that was kind of ugly. I guess you could put stones around it, but still you got a bunch of stones just piled up. So I thought about a lot of different options and I, I figured the best one is to have it come up right here in the corner of the greenhouse and I'll just pile stones up up and over it around there. There's other things going through like water is uh, coming out uh, through the uh, utility room into this greenhouse and it's going to come through here so it can go out into the yard you know with spigots and things down underground. Also electricity because in the future I want to maybe have that uh, that shelter that uh, you know fallout shelter slash root cellar kind of situation. So that's going to be uh, coming through here. I also uh, in this back corner over here we're going to be putting the um, uh, the outside solar panels for the hot water. I'm going to put the, the unit in the storage tank back over here. So there's two pastures that need to uh, come through in this area over here. And I'm also going to be just doing a gray water drain from the kitchen right through this wall right here. So there are a lot of things that I had to come up with and know exactly where they need to go, the exact elevation uh, in terms of like slope for plumbing and exactly where they're gonna line up with everything that's inside the house. So it's been a lot of work, but I think I got it all lined up at this point and ready for the concrete people if uh, you know we can really start getting things lined up. I, we've had a little bit of momentum here. I'm hoping that we can carry it through, but you know, the cold weather's coming on and you know, well, we'll see what's possible. But it's always good to do your homework ahead of time, prep, be prepared, uh, not just for pandemic disease and aliens infect, uh, dropping air, aliens invading by airdropping bird flu infected clown zombies, but also just being ready for questions when you have contractors working for you and they want to get an answer so that they can keep do doing their work and doing what they're good at. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.